I got a new one, a new toy. <laughs> uh, I've wanted one of these for a very, very, very long time. I finally uh, saved up the old De Niro to uh, go, go ahead and purchase this one. This happens to be a DWM120K. Uh, it's a deep cut portable bandsaw. Uh, this one's from DeWalt. Uh, as any of you guys have watched my channel know, I'm a pretty big fan of DeWalt. We're gonna go ahead and get this baby opened up. Pretty sweet. So we've got the deep cut portable bandsaw here. Uh, instructions, in this case, I'll leave them in the case. I do plan on keeping this case, whereas with a lot of my tools, I get rid of the case. Uh, this is sort of a big, expensive, bulky tool, and if I want to transport it, I'm gonna to want to put it back in here. So let's uh, get it out of the case and see what we think. Holy gee, many Christmas, it's, it's heavy, that's for sure. Heavy duty extension cord, comes with an Allen wrench with a keeper on it, which is kind of nice. Uh, Thought this was toolless, so I'm curious as to what this is about. So it has an adjustable handle. You loosen up the thumb screw, and that handle clicks around so you can get, you know, position this way or that way. For right now, I'm just gonna leave it in the up position because that's how it stores in the case. Uh, the blade uh, comes with one blade. The blade's already installed. It is a variable speed by trigger pull. So the harder you pull the trigger, the faster it spins. It also has an adjustment for speed here. So you can set this to say three and, and even with the trigger depressed all the way, it'll only go whatever that happens to be. Uh, medium, I'll say, and then five is high. Uh, foot plate, that foot plate, that's what the Allen wrench is for. So the Allen wrench goes into that foot plate and as the foot plate is adjustable in and out. So once you adjust that, that foot plate slides back and forth. I'll be curious to see how that ends up working long term, where I end up leaving that at, if it's out or in or, or what. I hope it stores with it out all the way in the case, because if it doesn't, that'd be inconvenient having to loosen these and adjust them every time you wanted to put it away. Uh, the, this this is uh, not hard plastic. This is rubberized, very rubbery, soft, squishy rubber. I suspect that's gonna get wore out and beat up over time. Uh, we'll see how that holds up. You've got the wheels, the blade, the guide, uh, the adjustable handle. There is a hook on the back, belt hook I guess maybe, or a raptor hook is what it's an attempt at. I'm not really sure how that would be useful at the moment, but you never know. It's very, it's very heavy. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, it does have a switch here, which turns on a light that's supposed to give you some guidance for this blade. Uh, when we get over here to cut something, we'll see how that works out. Uh, the keyless blade swap out, so you roll this and there's a cam inside of there and it loosens the blade and the blade comes off and then you roll this back once you put a new blade in and it tightens up the blade. It's a monster though. Whew. Without further ado, let's go over to the vise. So the light is on. I don't know how that is providing any kind of... Well, I don't see how that minus shining a light on the workpiece helps at all, but we'll see. Maybe in a dark room, I don't know. Uh, as many as you know, if you watch my channel, I use a uh, plasma cutter or a grinder to cut metal with, and that is messy. Uh, for one thing, sparks and plasma and debris everywhere, and it doesn't do the nice clean job that I would like to have. This is what I'm hoping to fix a lot of that problem with. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and test her out here on a piece of angle iron. This is some scrap stuff I had from a leftover project. We're gonna go ahead and chop off this uh, chunk here and get it nice and squared up, see how it goes. That is, that is beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. Uh, that is a very clean, very square cut, very fast, very efficient. Uh, the weight of the tool did most of the work for me. We'll try another cut here and then we'll switch over to a little bit heavier duty material.
So I dropped it on the ground. Doing this with a plasma cutter is impossible. Uh, doing this with an angle grinder is doable, but difficult. That, that's just beautiful. I mean, super even. Without even putting any marks on there, it's just, I am just super ecstatic to be using this and have this finally. We're just gonna go ahead and chop off this other end since I got it sitting here, clean it up. That way I can use it later. I mean, look at that. It's just nice square ends. I realize this is basically scrap with all these plasma cut marks in there, but uh, that is just, that's gonna be such a valuable tool for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing to the test and I'm gonna try and cut off a big hunk of this, um, which it looks like it's going to. Well, I've gone about an inch and a half in maybe 30 seconds, 45 seconds, I suspect. Uh, just super nice, super clean, super efficient. Let's try it out this way and see, uh, see if we can connect the dots. There you go. I mean, look at that. I mean, the comparison between a plasma cut edge, you can just, you can see here, this is oxyacetylene. I mean, that's just beautiful in comparison. If you're considering buying a bandsaw, a portable bandsaw like this, uh, I recommend the deep cut one. Spend the money and go this route. Um, if you're if you're still operating in the world of grinders only, the, the sparks and the, the cleanliness and the time of grinders really saved by using one of these. The clean cuts you get, nice and square, much more controllable. The cleanliness of your shop, right? This is significantly cleaner. The light seems to be an okay function. It casts a shadow across the blade. I don't know how much I'm really gonna utilize that. But like you saw, I definitely cut through the material. No problem at all. I mean, it really, really just goes through that stuff like butter. Overall, super happy that I finally got a hold of one of these. Super happy it's a Dewalt. That's just my brand biased. There's a lot of other brands out there that make great portable bandsaws like this and they get very high ratings and they probably do a fantastic job. This is just my personal preference, not a pitch for Dewalt by any stretch of the imagination. This will just really help you out in the fabrication, homeowner fabrication world. Don't get me wrong, this doesn't replace an upright metal bandsaw or even a horizontal uh, chop style bandsaw. But for my application with the amount of metal work that I do, this is really going to be the way for me to keep my shop cleaner, be more productive, spend a lot less time buffing and cleaning off the rough ends from plasma cutting, grinding, all that type of thing. So, in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you got something out of this. Uh, definitely check out these other videos. I'll have my garage build and uh, probably my house video series. Hit that subscribe button. That always helps me out. I really appreciate that. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you got something out of this.